Hey guys, it's Mia, and this is Beauty With Me. Sometime in the very cold, cold winter, my friend Michelle and I decided to book a spontaneous girls trip to Tulum. I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you guys what I'm going to be bringing with me in terms of long wearing, kind of like summer proof makeup. Let's get into this. So first things first, let's talk about skin prep. I'm going to be wearing the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Sunscreen. This has SPF 30. I'm also gonna be bringing a body sunscreen to wear um, all over, so do not worry, I will be protected. So on top of my sunscreen, I actually enjoy applying a couple drops of facial oil um, before I put on my concealer. So this is the Meow Meow Tweet Juniper Carrot Seed Face Oil, which is actually refillable at a place called Package Free here in New York. Uh, if you guys watch my Zero Waste video, y'all know. And then I just press that onto my skin. So after that, I'll go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, and because I have the oil on it, it's gonna give my skin a much fresher appearance. So I'm gonna wear this all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp sponge. A lot of people ask me why I do concealer all over my face in lieu of just wearing foundation. And this is just something that I really like. It's a, so much more travel friendly because it's so tiny. It covers everything. If you apply it right, it's not gonna look cakey. And honestly, it just kind of saves me a step and I'm lazy. So I'm obviously going to powder my skin because it's going to be very, very warm in Tulum. So this is the Milani Translucent Powder. Tap that, focusing on my T-zone where I get the most oily, but then also just bringing out the product to the rest of my face. So next up is blush, and this is the CoverGirl True Blend Baked Blush. So I'm just gonna take that on this Real Techniques blush brush. Sweep that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend up. So moving on to highlighter. This is the Milk Little Teeny Tiny Cream Highlighter in the shade, I don't even know, Turnt. These are so great because they're so travel friendly. And honestly, it's gonna take me forever to get through this mini highlighter. So I'm just gonna tap it on the cheekbones. It has like, some chunky glitter pieces. So it does have this really cool, like shimmery sheen to it. Let me know if you guys feel this way too, but when I'm wearing a lot of matte makeup, I love the way my skin looks like three or four hours into the day when some of my natural oils have kind of seeped through and my skin just looks super fresh and like juicy. Boom, highlighter on. Okay, so moving on to eyes, and I always, always, always prime my eyes. This is my new favorite eyelid primer. It's by CoverGirl. It's called the Lid Lockup. It creates a really nice base for makeup, and it keeps my eyeshadows on a really long time. So I'm gonna be using this same Watt pencil. It is in the shade Tangerine. It's gorgeous, kind of like marigold yellow. And I'm just gonna wear this yellow shade all over my lid and blend it out. And this is a look that I've been wearing a lot recently. I'm also gonna tap in with fingers just to speed it along. And it sets and really doesn't move. I'm going to tight line with a liquid liner, which I know some people are gonna be freaked out by this, but it is the longest wearing. Like you can use a pencil, but liquid liner lasts the longest. I pull up my eyelid and I brush on the color onto my tight line and kind of into my eyelashes. All right, so moving on to mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara. Put it on my eyelid. All right, so this is the eyes done. Very, 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 very simple but impactful. I'm gonna put on a little bit of eyebrow gel. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix. And I'm really into this because of the very thin brush. It's super easy to brush through eyebrows with it. It's a great color. And last but not least, we have lipstick. This is the Kosas lipstick in the shade Phoenix. Beautiful red. I've been wearing this nonstop, super comfortable, super hydrating. I think that this yellow eye would look beautiful with a pink lipstick too or a nude. So obviously do whatever suits you. Mm. 
I always, always, always take my ring finger and blend the edges just to create a softer effect to the lipstick. So this is the finished look. I'm obviously going to be bringing other makeup with me to Tulum, but this is definitely going to be a look that I will wear while I'm there. While I'm there, I'm going to vlog so you guys can see the makeup in action, see how it wears, see a little bit of the vacation too. So I will see you there. Hey guys, we're in Tulum, Michelle. Yay! I just put the makeup on. It's like 84 degrees. It's really, really, really hot. Right now, I think the makeup is looking really good. We'll see how it lasts all day. I will check in with you every few hours, let you know how the makeup is wearing. So we are biking around on this very, very warm 80 degree plus day. It is lovely. Isn't it lovely, Michelle? It's so lovely. around noon and we're going to go and have some lunch but I want to give you a little check-in on the makeup I mean I'm very dewy right now because I'm so sweaty but here's a closer look <laughs> the eyeshadow looks like it's holding up really well so is the tight line a little bit of smudging here um, I think was the eyeliner that I had in my um, tight line but it looks pretty good lipstick looks great I think my skin actually looks really nice and the Fenty concealer is holding up really well I'm gonna go have a smoothie now I'm gonna re-up my sunscreen with this cool powder from Supergoop and it has SPF 45. Hey guys, so it is a little past five o'clock. I've been wearing this makeup for eight hours now and I'm gonna sign off here just because Michelle and I are gonna go to dinner and I just wanna be present at the dinner. Um, I will say that I think the makeup has held up really well. I think that the face makeup has essentially melted off. I cannot overemphasize how much I was sweating so I'm pretty amazed that it's even a little bit there. Eyes have held up ridiculously well. I think it's just creasing just a little bit in the inner corner. Lipstick, I wasn't expecting to be very long wearing, so I've been applying it throughout the day. Thank you guys so much for following along on this little Tulum adventure. And let me know your favorite sweat-proof makeup products below. See you next week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Click here to subscribe to Refining29 and click here to watch another video. Bye.